Let's talk some finance, and it is Friday, hence Finance Friday. Look who's here. Uh, First Ontario Senior Business Manager of Business Services, um, Colin Sear. Okay, so is it November Financial Literacy Month? That's right. Yeah, okay. Mark was here two weeks ago talking on yeah. So, yeah. Um, so it's good to have you back because you always focus on, on the small business owner. Mm -hmm. And... It's tough when you have a small business. You could have the you could have a fantastic idea. You could be really good at that idea and doing that. But if you have no financial literacy, when you don't know how to do the business side of things, it's all for naught. Can only go so far. Yeah, a lot of these business owners, they're masters of their craft. They can build a house from scratch or landscape a yard to perfection. But the financial management, it's not as common knowledge, right? And so it's important that businesses improve their financial literacy to make better decisions and avoid mistakes. And so we'll talk a little bit today how they can go about doing that. Because this is we're just like we'll just hire somebody to do that. But these, we're talking small businesses that are not able to hire a, a CEO or yeah. a CFO. Yeah, you might not have somebody in-house who can help you on that front. So there's a lot of publicly available resources or low-cost resources for businesses that are resource-strapped or time-strapped, uh, and many businesses might not know about It's those. intimidating. Right, if you don't know. So how, how what, are, what are some good steps, to, like little baby steps to kind of like tip your toe in there to help course, you out? Of course, well, publicly available resources, great place to start. So chambers of commerce and small business centers. You go to the Hamilton Chamber website today or the Hamilton Business Center website today, tons of seminars, workshops on budgeting, financial planning, uh, financial statements. Not only is the content great in these places, uh, they're gonna put you in front of professionals, business owners that are like-minded in that. So it'll build your financial literacy and your sense of community while you learn. Like what about a mentor, like within the financial community yeah look up to business owners that maybe have a better foundational sense uh, or uh, you know you can even like I said go to these arenas where these people who have figured these things out can help sort of uh, give you a sense of what's going on from a financial literacy because it's like it, like learning these tools day to day yeah and like you setting the setting things up and, and, and getting into good habits yeah to that end a lot of these tools and like your accounting softwares right they're integrated right into your day-to-day -day, so it takes your debits credits give you some sense of what's going on revenues expenses margins wise um, it's going to give you insights it can give you you know uh, some decision making information there so not only is it a nice tool to have with like your accounting software just to get a sense of what's going on it can actually teach you along the way and, and, and direct uh, your business decisions from there because you have like within financial literacy you also have like the technology factor too mm. that will help you out with the financial literacy that's right that which can be intimidating too but once you once you do set it up properly it will help you kind of of going forward they're quite intuitive they're quite intuitive and they're using real raw data from your business it's not out of a textbook it's actually taking your operations and giving you some insights so really powerful so like like businesses do have that support they do they do and there's no substitute for an in-person support those tools are great but there's really no substitute for a good bookkeeper a good accountant for that matter um, but do not overlook the value of talking to your bank or credit union as well we personally believe financial literacy should be woven into every single interaction. Um, it's not just about providing financial services, it's about providing financial health. Uh, for us, it, it's about upholding that, uh, it, not as a means to an end in building business. It's actually about building our business community uh, from a knowledge standpoint, and that's just the right thing to do. And so your bank and your credit union, go talk to them. They want to help you improve your financial literacy as much as any of those tools or other resources available to you. What do you see that people coming into your office look at, like wanting to start a new business? Are, are they financial? literacy proven do they know what's going on like they just have this you have this idea and you just get so excited about something but there's so many other steps I think we're always impressed by the passion they come in sure. with and the ones that are really willing to learn will sit down and uh, they'll be coachable they want to get a sense of hey how do I take my passion hard work and turn it into long-lasting success I don't want wasted energy um, you know you can't overlook the numbers if you do you're not setting yourself up for success so that financial literacy is the bedrock to having your business go the distance okay any final lasting points for uh, for any business owner out there you do not need to be a financial savant in order to be successful in business uh, you don't have to have an MBA or be a commerce grad some of the uh, best business owners were just the ones that surround themselves with the right people and took advantage of the right resources those things are available to you as a business owner uh, go seek them out uh, and uh, we're happy to have a conversation with you if it's something you're interested in improving there you go yeah, yeah, not bad. You're nice to have a conversation with. What you're I, like I when try you're my here. hardest to. Yeah, man. Uh, listen, you can email your questions to Finance Friday at FirstOntario.com. If your question or topic is selected to be covered on air, you'll receive a gift card from First Ontario. Colin Sear, good to see you. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks, Tim.